This is a test. This is a test. And this is a test. This is a test. Hey guys, this is Michael here. So in this video, I'm going to show the basics of Adobe Illustrator. So when you open it, the first thing you'll see is this screen here. You need to go up to File and New to see anything. Then I like to choose the um, landscape orientation to get started. We can put in a name later. Okay. All right, so this is our basic screen. We've got our tools on the left, just like um, Photoshop. We've got other things on the right. We've got things across the top and things up the very top. So let's start with some basics. We've got shapes. When you click and hold, you'll get more shapes. Let's start with a rounded rectangle. All right, that is a rounded rectangle. Nothing what I was expecting actually. Let's do a rectangle. Okay. Now, you'll notice that these shapes have a white fill and a black stroke, which you can see down here. When I double click on the fill box, which is this one here, I can change color. Except make sure you click on the object first. Okay, and the stroke as well. The stroke refers to the outside edge. I can thicken the stroke by going up here and changing the weight. And let's do the same thing here. I can change the stroke color as well. Okay, so we've got a couple of shapes here. Now, um, what I want to show you is that when you click on an object, <coughs> uh, these are vector shapes. I can edit these by clicking on the direct selection tool. So if I deselect everything, if I click right on the edge of the tool, let's zoom in a little bit, use the zoom tool. Okay, if I click right on the path or the edge of the tool, the stroke, the outside, that's called the path. And I can grab this here, this is called an anchor. And I can click on that and I can move it. Let's zoom out again. 100%. Okay. Recenter. Okay. So I can change the shape by moving these anchors around. Look at that. Cool. Notice when I do the same on this shape here with a rounded edge, I can click on these handles and I can change the shape of that as well, which is a little bit weird. So that's pretty cool. If I want to change the um, which one's on top and which one's underneath, if I right click, I can go arrange, bring to front, and now that one's on top. Now this tool here, the pen tool, this is for creating these anchors, these little anchor points. So let's grab the pen tool, let's go click, 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 and we have a new shape that I can move around. I can rotate it by putting my little arrow there, doing that. Um, and I can use the white arrow to move these points around. Okay. With that pen tool, if I click and hold, I can also add anchor points to an existing tool, to an existing shape, sorry. So like that, like, oops, missed. Oops. 
Okay, now yeah, watch. I've got more. You think, well, that's all very good, but what if I don't want to just draw shapes, like square shapes and so on? Easy. Watch this. Let's do some curves. So I click once with the pen. I click over here with the pen. And before I let go of the mouse button, I'm just going to drag that up. And it's going to create a handle, which gives me a curve. If I click again, it's going to continue that handle curve around like this. The shape's not complete yet because I haven't filled it in. I can get a little bit crazy. Whoa. Put more curves in if I want to. And this is the starting point, so I'm going to join that up there. And that's a little strange. Let's get that white arrow again. And let's click on the path. And there's a handle. I can grab that handle and move that around. All sorts of things you can do. Remember with Illustrator we are creating vectors, shapes that can be moved around, manipulated and edited. Hmm. It's getting weird. Okay. There's lots of things you can do. Now, look, this eraser, if I want to erase it, I'm just going to use the square bracket, the square bracket key on the keyboard to make my eraser bigger. Watch. Now, what's going to happen? Look at that. Now, I have two shapes. I've cut right through the other one, and it's put in that same stroke right through. Let's show you that again. Let's go this way. Oops. Why didn't that work? What is going on? Click on that one. Erase. There we go. Let's make that a bit smaller. It doesn't work on that one because I haven't selected it. Interesting. And now they have little lines as well. Not lines, paths that I can edit. Let's just move this over here. See that? Cool fun. Right. That's some basics. So the, the real main thing to remember is that the selection tool, the black tool, black pen, sorry, the black arrow is for selecting objects, moving them around, resizing them, rotating them by putting that there. Notice how when I resize it, the stroke thickness doesn't actually decrease. You have to do that actually yourself. I don't know what that is. It's just a bunch of nothing. If I want to delete a shape, you don't have to get the eraser and do this. You don't have to do that. I've seen people do this. Don't waste your time. That's such a waste of time. See how long that took? Forever. I can just click on it and on the keyboard, click on delete and it's gone. Just like that. Um, we've got pencils and paintbrushes, which are great fun. Now, when you use a paintbrush, there is no fill. It's just an outline. And up here, I can go into brushes and choose from a range of different brushes. Let's thicken that up a little bit. Cool. Um, there are heaps. Now look just there, there's a brush library as well. Heaps of different brush. Oh, that's not very exciting. Borders are fun. Decorative borders. Let's look at some of these. Look at this. Watch this. Huh. 
cool. All sorts of fun stuff. That's with a brush. Does it work with a pencil? I think so. No, it's a brush thing. So go back to that one, the paintbrush. All sorts of fun things in there. Hmm. Anyway, the heaps of things you can look at there as well. So I hope this gives you a little bit of an idea of how Illustrator works. Well, probably one more thing I should show you is over here, layers, just like in Photoshop. You can down arrow and you can find all the objects that you've created. You can do things like hide them. Whatever. Okay. Um, you've got eyedropper for selecting colors. You've got gradient tools for, let's see if I can do something with that. No, I can't remember how that works off the top of my head. Different tools here. Mesh tool, that's always interesting. Yeah. So have a bit of a play around with Illustrator, see what you can do. Lots of things you can do. Infinite possibilities. You can put in text. Resize it like that. Change the font. Somehow. Oh, you've got to double click back in there. Oh, font's over here. Yep, you can do all that stuff. Okay. I think that's the basics to get you started. Make sure you have a good play around with it, see what you can do. Um, delete things by selecting multiple at once with your selection tool. I think that's enough to get you going. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. If you got to the end of this video and you're still interested, that's great because this wasn't the most exciting video I've ever made. Um, it's just some basics to get you started. All right, thanks guys. Bye-bye.